Hi, I'm Tony. And I'm, well, you know who I am. The guy who has it all. Wealth, fame, impeccable taste in suits. What do you get the man with everything? A chance to give something back. Test flight. Starting with maneuvering thrusters. Hands by my sides. Palms back. Good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. Opening targeting suite. Repulsors ready. Hands up, palms forward. Bullseye. Problem, Tony. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious. You in this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. Where are you anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Looks like you made some upgrades. Three more targets to go. Two more targets left. One more. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? Oh, you know I work better with an audience.
Let's start with boost. Swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter inch magnetic articulation seals to boot thrusters. I can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5 percent. Okay. Should I be writing this down? No need. I've got a mind like a steel trap. Oh, yeah? When's my birthday? Uh, sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. No, that one's within the normal range. For me, anyway. up the jets. I want to punch something. Fist rockets engaged. Time to throw a punch. Knockout! <laughs> Just like Happy Hogan Tommy. Great aim! Great shot. Time to punch out. Did you get what you needed? Or are you gonna go again? Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds good. Meet me back here when you're ready. As you know, we have something to celebrate. Ego has landed. Trapped in a cave with a gun to your head and a battery hooked to your heart really changes your outlook on things. My days of making weapons were over. I was proud of that. More importantly, Pepper was proud of me. The future looks bright. Pepper! Downstairs! Oh. 
Better not keep Pepper waiting. <clears throat> hey, Pepper. Can't fault you for staring. Oh, please. I'm just shocked to see you out of the armor. I was afraid it'd fuse to your skin. That is not a bad idea. Oh, wait. That's worth more if I sign it. It's worth more if I sign it. I forge your signature better than you do, Tony. I'm capturing the moment. As of today, Stark Industries no longer makes or sells weapons of any kind. Sounds official coming from you. Have you seen my glasses? Think you left them in the living room. I'm headed up to the Overlook. Grab your glasses and meet me there. We can just catch the sunset. Mellow for my taste, but right for the occasion. There they are. Better way to see the world. Hey, Tony, looks like you found him. I'm waiting for you at the Overlook. Well, don't start the party without me. Just one thing I gotta do first. Pack up the past. Lessons learned, but it's time to turn the page. Ah, the sounds of progress. New garage, new life. Dad always said, stick to your guns. Sorry, Howard. We did things your way long enough.
I was a changed man. Pepper was convinced of that. And with her help, soon the world would be convinced of that. The hardest part was convincing myself. My former self. Pepper's waiting at the Overlook. Don't want to end up in the doghouse. A lot nicer than the fires I usually start. Candlelit dinner, Tony? You're full of surprises. <clears throat> if you only knew. No silverware? We'll use our hands. Ooh, tapas. Uh, see. To start, Palma de Fuego. So, we're not having dinner. What? Huh, right on cue. Stark Industries drones? Combat drones. Last of a dying breed. I figured I'd give them a worthy send off. If you're gonna blow stuff up, at least move away from the fine china. Let's put the past in its place. Drone versus Repulsive. Stark versus Stark. Like I always say, Tony, you're your own worst enemy. So what's on the other plate? Codpiece? <laughs> no. Dessert. Something sweet? Bittersweet. Here goes. The gunsmith AI? It's time the old Tony hung up his spurs. Drones, huh? Well, S.H.I.E.L.D. is hot for it. Director Fury put in a full order. I canceled that order. What? You're shutting me down. Early retirement. You've earned it. Boss, I'm... It's not your fault. I made you to make weapons, created you in my own image, and now you want to change that image. I want to change the world. So, do I go to the trophy case or the trash? Oh, you're top shelf, pal. I'll keep you around. Suspended animation, but with full internet privileges. Hmm. Huh. Guess I'll take up surfing. You cool? Gunsmith? But me? Of course I'm cool. I'm him. Well, let's get to it, boss. A life of leisure awaits. See you on the other side. That was amazing. I'll take him. 
He was good at what he did. But what he did wasn't good. The world doesn't need another cruise missile or smart bomb. The world needs you, Tony. The world needs Iron Man. Strange. Morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday. You seem Pepper. I believe she's putting out a fire. Literal or figurative? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should... I'm gonna... Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right, Tony! But here's the thing. I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was going to ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them, that's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world, and I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? No. <laughs> Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over. Remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Incoming! Time to die. Tony! Tony! Friday, your airline just lost my luggage. Then file a complaint when we land. Override my safety belt. Pepper, I- I know! Just come back in one piece! Whoa! 
drones are headed toward Pepper. I see them, sir. Friday, I'm feeling a bit naked here. Hang on, sir. Right gauntlet inbound. This should come in handy. Debris, shoot it. Left gauntlet inbound. More debris, sir. Chest piece coming in on your left. Drones inbound. Friday, where's my head at? In the clouds as usual, sir. The ground's getting awfully close. Heads up! All systems online. Just in time. I got a plane to catch. You cannot run your past, Star. We'll see about that. <laughs> Can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Sir, we have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. A secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Fire suppression system online. That's one less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. Pilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. Pepper? No, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. coming. Sir, more hostiles en route. Friday, what did I just say? Critical systems still function, but we are struggling. Aren't 
Pepper, how's the jet? No longer on a collision course with Los Angeles. City Council will be pleased to know that. Sir, the aileron on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked! Ah! Pepper! It's vanished from radar. I can see that. Get me back online. Systems restored. Tony, nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Pepper, find an exit! Right. <coughs> the fire front of the cabin! <coughs> I'm trapped! <coughs> Miss Potts, there's a panel beneath your feet, a compartment. It leads to the nose landing gear. Back! Running down now! I'll meet you under the jet! Hand. Tony! Ah. Welcome to 
Usually I see the danger before it hits, even from 20,000 feet. But someone got the drop on us and I wanted to, I wanted revenge. It was 3 a.m. when I left Pepper at the hospital. I had a plan and I knew she wouldn't like it. I went home and I woke up the guy who knows my old weapons better than anyone. Hey, pal. Where's the party? Wherever you go. You recognize it? Of course I recognize it. I built it. Huh. That's odd. There's no serial number. Where is it from? Hoping you can tell me. Sir, Miss Potts has been moved to a secure location, but her... Sorry, I didn't realize we had company. I'm more like family. Uh, Friday, this is the gunsmith. You bring me up to speed here, doll. Hey! I'm not a touch screen. Gunsmith, show some respect. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, no. Miss Potts. She's... She's in hospital. And the cowards that put her there? Still at large. Help me find them. Oh, we'll find them, boss. And when we do, 